Hey, I'm Decathlon Gamer. Welcome back to F1 Manager. This is episode 46. Last time out, we had a vote right at the end of the episode regarding a sporting change. Double points for the final race. Fortunately, most of the teams have voted against it, including ourselves, and it will not be implemented for the upcoming season. This weekend, we're in Belgium, in the picturesque province of Liège. Halfway through the season, it's too early to call the championship. Can teams make good before the summer break, or will they be hoping for a reset? Bar Francochon is an F1 favorite, consisting of challenging corners, high speeds, and the chance for drivers to really prove themselves. The long lap has different downforce demands, with sectors one and three requiring pure speed, and sector two, a twistier and more technical affair. 15 long and challenging laps await the drivers in today's sprint, here at Spa. And once the lights go out here at Spa, the attention will shift to the first corner, a turn that has seen its fair share of dramatic incidents over the years. Well then, folks, it's time to get going. Here we are. The sprint around Spa Francorchamps. And it's lights out, and away we go. And we've got a sprint race weekend, and both cars did well in qualifying. Sergeant was P5, Flourish was P13. Uh, those odd numbers, though, getting really the poor run. And so both of them dropping down the order a little bit. Sergeant P6, Flourish P14. It's a 15-lap sprint. As we begin lap number three of this 15-lap sprint in P7 and P14, respectively, there's a little more on the line this race weekend, and I have adjusted things a little bit accordingly, just a little, and that is uh, I had a proposition in the email regarding uh, triple sponsor payout triple sponsor payout that's a lot of extra cash so i've gone ahead and agreed to doing that there of course is um, danger inherent danger in doing that as uh, russell gets around sergeant dropping him to p8 uh, all we need to do Realistically, it's finished in the top 14 to achieve those sponsor goals, though. So we're looking fantastic to be able to earn a top 14. I mean, even Flourish is 14th right now. And Sargent, who's not having a great race, is dropped to P9. Seems to be a little bit off the pace in this one. Flourish dropping down as well. Everyone's on the softs for this. Uh, what I've done... The thing that I did to help Sergeant remember, we've nerfed him in so many ways. Uh, we just had a chassis project, design project complete. None of the chassis are ready. Florsch does not have it. She's still on the old one. But Sergeant was still on the original chassis. The one that Florsch is on right now is the third. The fourth edition is the one that just came out and is now being man manufactured. So I went ahead and bumped Sergeant up to that third edition chassis. Uh, so from first to third, that's a big bump. And that should give him a little bit more. And it was a pretty healthy bump uh, in terms of that chassis. So uh, Sergeant down to P10, flourishes P16. DeVries with a lockup drops to last, or was already last maybe. Loses 10% uh, on the tire wear. We're on lap 8 already. Fields fairly close together. Uh, the fuel recovery I was a little worried about. As we had dropped three tenths, but we've already got that under control. Porsche in the Aston Martin is well ahead right now. Signs and Verstappen, then strolls. So it looks like this could be an Aston Martin kind of weekend. Got themselves a good car. Two-thirds of the way through this sprint, and we are right on the cusp of both cars. There we go. Now both cars have positive deltas. Flourish, safe in P16, big gap behind her. As for Sergeant, 
got Perez just behind us and then a gap, but we've also got cars. I mean, third place is almost closer to us than I'd say Florsche is. V um, VSC. VSC is coming out. That's not looking good for Charles Leclerc. Well, Leclerc involved. A lot of space between cars. Oh! Leclerc just locks up and gets into the back of the Alpine. As for the team back Heavy the garage, collision for both. Was a tough to watch. It's a lot of damage, even if they're able to continue on. That's going to be a lot of damage. And both are out. Gasly and Leclerc out of the race. That's going to bring us BSC, both BSC. up two spots as it happened in front of us. Close to the Delta. We're happy to push on with the tyres. BSC has ended and we are off and racing again. We've got three laps. We're going to push. See if either one of these cars can go forward. We're right on board with Floor She now sits in P14. She was two spots higher than this qualifying wise. Practice wise, she's about where she belonged. Porsche runs wide as the leader. He's still got the lead, but it's down to one second. So instead of a four or five second gap he's uh, suddenly under a little pressure as we begin the uh, final two laps of the race Marsh coming through the final chicane and begins two laps to go herself as we head down through Radion and Eau Rouge up the hill with some momentum with some DRS we do get alongside Alvin and ahead for P13. Nicely done there. Get that pressure on. Keep pushing. Meanwhile, Sergeant, what is our gap looking like? Just over a second behind Russell. Got to close that gap if we're going to get anything going on the final lap. And do get within a second there. Meanwhile, Flourish has closed up already on Magnuson. Can we get back to where we started? Plus two for the crash. Final lap. Final chicane. Final lap. In a great position, but we've got Sonoda and Magnuson there. Huge gap ahead of that, so it's really down to just this. Uh, meanwhile, Sargent is also uh, challenging Russell ahead. Nothing doing there. Nothing doing here. Oh, almost getting Russell. And that's the last chicane. Sergeant yes, will finish P8. Meanwhile, Flourish in comes in just behind Magnuson. Unable to challenge. Porsche Air does claim the lane ahead of the two Red Bulls and Stroll. But P8, P13, the 13 part, fantastic. Uh, Flourish had one okay finish before, and it was roughly about P13 or 14. So this is right up there with her best ever finish. Really it is a sprint though. The whole race still to come. We've got 44 laps ahead of us here in Spa as we get ready for the Belgian Grand Prix. Now, this could be an important race for Pierre Gasly. They're at a real disadvantage as they begin in 19. How much can they recover over the course of the race? Here we go. It's time to go racing. Get ready, it's the Belgian Grand Prix. And it's lights out, and away we go. Shortest race of the year in terms of laps, but that's because each lap is a long one. But we just managed to get through 15 already. And we pick up where we started from. Flourish, great start is P11. There's a couple of cars with penalties out there. Not many, uh, but a couple definitely started further back than... Uh, where they finished the sprint, and that's put us in a pretty solid spot. Leclerc and Gasly at the back. Albin drops to the back, uh, but Flourish P11. What a great, great start spot from from her. And Sargent up in P7, comfortably in the points. Here, you don't want to push for a full two laps. You definitely want to let off a little bit earlier, because, you know, two laps are a long time. Underfueling, only a single lap, 2.4 kilograms, and from what we saw in the sprint, it shouldn't be too hard to recover that. Uh, organically 
And that's one lap's in the book. One lap. It's not plural one. I've only done one. Yellow. DeVries runs wide. <laughs> Drops to 19th. Some ERS left. Plenty of life on the tires. It's a one-stopper, soft to mediums today. And I'm expecting the whole field to probably do that. Except there's a lot of cars on medium tires. <clears throat> now this one we have a VSC following this Thanks event involving here. Lance Stroll, who was right at the start locks, of the field. And hopefully there's not too much damage to the tires. Uh, no, I would think there's a lot of damage to the tires, but there shouldn't be any damage to the car. Oh dear, a crash! There's been a crash. Oh, there's the crash. That was just a lockup. It's for Stappen. Anna McLaren. Oh, same. Wow, okay. Yeah, right? Max. What was that? <laughs> Two lockups, same corner. Two cars come together. Damage wise. They're both out of the race, so Stroll and Verstappen out of the race. That brings us up to P6. And somebody's in the points. Somebody's in the points. But what's it going to be like later on? Fuel's already largely recovered after that. Right as we begin a new lap. Lap number seven. Flourish all over the back of Sonoda. Already going up the inside. Completes the overtake. P9. Sergeant overtaking Ocon. P5. So from P5, P9. Sergeant does have a little bit of a gap to Russell. But also has a gap to uh, Ocon. A healthy gap. So could be running comfortably P5. I'd certainly be happy with that. Sergeant just did the fastest lap of the race. So that was a nice push lap we ran there. Sergeant closing up on Russell as well here on lap 9. And Porsche locks up. Yeah, Aston Martin's having a lot of trouble. Porsche locked up during the sprint race. Has locked up during this race. Stroll did the lock up and got himself out of the race. Of course, he was in a harmless position, but apparently distracted Verstappen. But that's also just how Verstappen likes to overtake cars. Off the track. Quarter of the way through the race. Still holding on to the P5, P9. We have good pace. Uh, Florsch now has a healthy gap to Magnussen behind her, four and a half seconds down, pulling away from him. Uh, not all over the back, but keeping up with Norris. Sergeant challenging Russell, but not able to complete the overtake. 47%. Pit window has opened not too long before we pit. We don't want to wait too long. Porsche already pitting. The window is open. Probably from the lockup. Is he going to the hards? Porsche, no. 99% mediums ahead of floor still. We are on the softs, others are on the mediums, which means there is every opportunity that uh, from here on out they're going to have better pace than us as we are pretty used on those softs and we're going to be on those mediums fairly soon. Or we'll have a couple lap advantage when they're fresh, but otherwise they'll be on the softs and they'll have a more significant advantage. And by the end of the race, both the mediums and the softs will be pretty used, and therefore there won't be an advantage really to either. Florsch has lost Norris over three seconds down. Not sure what happened there. I had no indicator of a mistake. Sergeant battling with Russell for a full lap before finally getting ahead of him and then Russell pits. Sergeant will pit on the next lap.
Gasly, who started at the back of the grid, has caught up. So we do have to watch out for that Alpine. And Flourish looks like he might even get her on this particular lap, but does not. Sorry, Jimmy Wild, a little bit further up the order. This is our in lap. Both are pushing a bit. Now this thing stands, Sergeant, in P3. This is a chance to undercut some cars, though. So there is that po distinct possibility by being on softs and pinning a little bit earlier. Sergeant, down pit road. Once, one and only time of the day. Good stop. Uh, okay, stop. 2.7. Flourish already on pit road. 2.716. So both cars. A little slow on the stop. I mean, a good three tenths off the pace. That sergeant comes out behind Gasly, which means that puts us right about where Flourish was. That's that was the distance between the two that has opened up from the start of the race. Which it's not nothing, but it's not a major distance. Flourish, good pace today. Pushing to get the tires up to temperature. Sergeant, owner of the fastest lap of the race, will probably be overtaken as soon as those on the mediums have come out on softs pit, if not sooner. Sergeant already starting to uh, challenge Gasly. Didn't quite get the overtake done there. would like us to get ahead because it's holding us up from, uh, well, that poor share. Norris hasn't pit yet. Got the overtake done. Sergeant up to P7. Flourish currently is P12, and there's a whole lot of cars to pit, so we've got some open air. Got to go standard, yellow flag, Porsche runs wide. Another mistake from Porsche. Porsche dropped to P9 after that one. So Porsche lost a lot of ground there. Porsche was ahead of Sargent. Magnuson overtaking Flourish. Magnuson has pit already. That is an on-track pass. Potas in the pits. Lap 25 of 44. We're into that second half. We're going to start seeing those on the mediums switching to the softs. Those that do so early have a chance to undercut, but are going to struggle late. DeVries with a spin. Another mistake. Floor still P13. Norris just ahead of her. Ocon. Both in between her and Magnuson. So Magnuson has much better pace right now. Leclerc pits. Still well down the order after starting from the back of the grid. Maloney has yet to pit. Signs pits. Sergeant is P2. Sergeant is P2. Sergeant is P2. <laughs> uh, and fuel's nearly right for both cars. Three more cars pitting. Everyone has finally pit. We've had a crash on track. We've got no, local yellow. This, it's yes, signs. Ooh. Right, let's have a look as we go into turn four. Oh, and the car with a nasty crash into the wall. Lost it. But no matter the severity of the crash, it's always good. Kept to going though. Really thought that would have broke the suspension. We get this huge shift when you go down, up, over the crest. As you go over that crest, there's a huge drop in downforce momentarily. And it's really easy to make a mistake there. As things stand, with everyone having pit once, Sergeant is all the way up in P2 and Flourish is P9. We have undercut a bunch of cars. Uh, Science is going to have to pit again. So Flourish is going to be up to P8. Gasly's on hards behind us. Perez, that's one to watch out for with Flourish. Brand new stops. Ah, Sergeant made a mistake. Let's have a look at Drops to P3. Now this is Logan Sergeant. And they just can't keep on the track. Hits the gravel. You've got to be careful and watch the car. Fortunately, only drops one position. Morale's going to be low, though. Stop Fine, we don't want to finish too high. <laughs> Under floor damage. Should be minor, I would imagine. Yes. Minor underfloor damage for Sargent after uh, running in the gravel. Porsche with that big mistake is behind us and already on pretty used mediums, but was leading that race earlier. So uh, Ocon, definitely one to watch out for, but otherwise you'd think Sargent has a good chance of hanging on if we can avoid mistakes. Meanwhile, Flourish, Norris ahead, 
on softs, probably not going to be able to catch them. Magnuson's already overtaken us. He's probably not going to be able to catch them. So it's more about what's behind us. And right now that's Gasly on hards holding up Perez. Perez is probably going to be pretty damn fast and a real threat to us. But can Florsch score her first point today? Right now she's in position with a sprint race left to go. 15 laps. Sergeant. Five seconds behind Russell, so we lost a lot of ground on that one. Signs pits, Flourish up to B8. Flourish needs to push a little bit, close the gap to Magnus, and Norris has gotten around. We want to get that down. There you go, something manageable. Oh, overtaking Magnuson. That's not what I was expecting. We've really come back. Magnuson pushed too much, too early, apparently. Norris is long gone up the road we're five seconds behind him but we're now leading the train of flourish magnuson perez who has managed to get around gasly finally gasly and now leclerc has finally made his way up to almost into the points p11 and sergeant already the fuel is good we have a positive delta with 10 laps to go and is closing back up on Ru russell ever so slightly but poor share is also closing up on sergeant so uh, anywhere from P2 to P4 for Sargent is likely, and Flourish re-overtaken by Magnuson, very much in the mix. Four points today. <laughs> Leclerc with a spin, drops back to P14. There goes Leclerc's chance of getting in the points. Flourish back around Magnuson, and we're definitely going to take the last handful of laps. Ten seconds to Norris. Norris is long gone. But fuel's about right. Battery's full. Tires are okay. 58%. They'll definitely make it to the end. Let's check. Let's get a tire comparison. Magnuson's 3% worse off. Uh, Perez, 69% on those softs. Advantage will be gone in a couple of laps. Uh, and Gasly's on hards. I just don't think Gasly's going to have a lot of pace on those hards. Uh, poor Cher. Very used mediums. So, yes, behind Sargent, but seems to be drifting further back, right? Wasn't it 1.9 before? Now it's 2.5. And Sargent, who was about 4 seconds back of Russell, is back under 3. Flourish. Pulls away from Magnuson a little bit. Can we get out of DRS range? Save that for later. We've got ourselves a gap. Get that fuel right. Flourish has a gap now. One and a half seconds over Magnuson. Uh, we're actually closing up on Norris. Uh, Perez already closing that gap back down, though, inside one second. But down to 60%. So drops below that threshold is going to start getting weaker and weaker and weaker on those softs, meaning the overtake is going to be harder and harder. Magnuson slipping further and further back. And that's... Yeah, this is starting to look good for us. Uh, the Perez part, yeah, I don't know. But three to go as she crosses the line there in P7. Uh, Norris all over the back of us and gets around. But we get DRS. That's going to allow us to close back up. Gasly has got around Magnuson, but is one and a half seconds down. We currently stand in P8. And the points, Sergeant on the podium. Uh, is three seconds behind Russell. That's been holding pretty steady, same as the poor share gap. And I'm perfectly fine with Sargent not making a push to get any higher. It's 11 seconds from Russell to Botas. We're not going to win the race. A win would be nice at some stage. But a podium is, is good points. Second place is too good on points. Third is fantastic. And Flourish is dropping off. Flourish has done poorly there. And as dropping off, uh, she is suddenly just like that behind Gasly. And now it's three laps to go? I thought we were already down to two. Oh, it's 42, 43, 44, right? That was 41. Not, a, not the start of 42 previously. We just started 42 now. Flourish does not have the pace right now on these mediums below 50%. She is really dropping off, but Magnuson's dropping off more. So while we are down to P9 and falling away, uh, Sonoda is the threat we need to watch out for. Maloney's not going to challenge. Magnuson's not going to challenge. 
Sonoda could. Barring any mistakes, two laps to go. We'll finish in the points for the first time in her career. Just about there. We've got two laps. Let's go ahead and go deploy. Use up the battery. Help keep that distance. Sonoda has gone around Magnuson. Three seconds back. You can see just how quickly we're falling away from the two faster cars who, well, we undercut. Oh, no, no, no. Gasly started from the back from the mistake during the sprint race. Uh, Perez went backwards because of poor strategy, and we undercut him. Uh, but he's coming on stronger, faster later to recover for P7. Final lap, at least from the front of the grid, Sargent is about to uh, begin the final lap. And does. And you can see we're now 2.3 behind Russell. Holding him down a little bit, but like I said, I'm, I'm not worried about pushing uh, Sargent. P3 is a happy place. We will focus on Flourish. Right on board with Flourish as she takes the final chicane, ready to begin the final lap. Let's speed it up, though. We still have a three-second advantage over Sonoda. We have the positive delta, using that battery to give us the extra pace, not pushing too hard, trying to avoid making a mistake. Gasly has caught Perez. The race is between them. But we're staying well away from Sonoda, three seconds ahead, plenty of battery. And we are already through the first sector into the second sector. And beginning the third sector, just a few corners to go. Botas takes the win, Russell takes second, Sargent has finished third. I was about to switch to Sargent for a moment, but I got the fraction of a second too late to see him cross the line. That is a P3 for Logan Sargent, so his third podium of the season. And Flourish, that was the final mistake place. Locking up there could have done us in, but she makes it through. And Sophia Flourish is going to score points for the first time in this series. Oh, what a long ways we have come from two laps, lap down, even to her own teammate in every single race. Now she has a car that's competitive, and now she has not only been competitive, but she has managed to score points. Well, they've been waiting for this, haven't they? And it's only right that they make the most of it. Well, Big celebrations for the team for getting on the podium, and Sargent, of course. Drive, and it's earned him a podium finish. Oh, that's our fourth podium of the year. Sargent grabs 15 points for that. Flores grabs two. But, of course, we had more than that, as it was a sprint weekend. So Sargent grabs 16 points in all. And Flourish jumps two positions in the standings. The last car, the only one who has less than 10 points but has points, is Flourish in 15th. So Maloney has yet to score points this season, despite hanging out around 11th, 12th all the time. Uh, Zhou Guan Yu, Guan Yu Zhou, uh, 17th, Albin. So neither Alfa Romeo, neither Haas, and one of the Alpha Tauris have yet to score. And now it's Flourish versus the Alpha Tauris. Uh, positionally uh, and Magnuson that's that's her group to kind of battle in but poor share in the Aston Martin only had 16 points all season and just managed to add 21 to that total more than doubling uh, it, his entirety of the season but Sargent stays p6 in the constructors though that was a little too healthy of a race weekend but only just Red Bull was the one who really missed out plus 13 Ferrari and those are the two that are way ahead, plus 20. They both missed out big time with mistakes. Alpine actually scored the most points this weekend, and they sit third overall, and they pull more of a gap on us. Aston Martin pulls more of a gap on us, moves up to fourth. Mercedes actually still manages to pull a couple extra points away from us. McLaren's the one who's in a bit of trouble. We might be heading for a P6 kind of territory but of course that was still more points than what i try to target normally so we're gonna want to nerf sergeant once again going forward not give him any any new components anytime soon to see him slide back down out of the top five and only just into the points if we can we'd love to see mclaren get stronger here at some point and start pulling some points and get ahead of us p7 is the goal p6 seeing the others pull away just a little bit from us that's what we want right now 
What we especially want is more of what we just got with Flourish, though. We'll take her points all day, every day. And if we can nerf Sergeant enough to get them kind of competitive with each other, wouldn't that be something? That would be the dream right about now. Shorter episode, but bigger episode. Folks, that was massive what we just encountered. We also had a sprint race squeezed in there. So one and done for this one. That is going to do it for this episode. Smash that like button in honor of our first female driver managing to score points. We have the complete team behind her now. All female staff, or at least the last one coming. We've got a reserve driver that's female. We are close to the entirety of the group being what it is. Now, the only thing, that's her first two points. If we take out Logan Sargent, we're P8. That's not even counting the fact that you're taking out one of the cars that's been scoring points, bumping everybody else up a spot, meaning they're going to score more points. So if he finishes 8th, you suddenly remove that car from the equation, put Tanaka in there, who's weaker than Flourish, and everybody moves up a spot. Well, Flourish moves up a spot, but she still would have only scored points once today. She would have four points. So our four points, we don't know how much of a difference that makes for McLaren, but obviously that would put McLaren ahead of us. That would put Alpha Tauri ahead of us. So all of a sudden we'd be down in P8, one spot off. Now that, that's not terrible, is it? Nerfing Sergeant further in the coming season. This, I think this is going to be his last season for the team. And I think we're going to try to get a one-and-done kind of deal with a driver who's in the 70s for their ability for next season. I've already started scouting for that. And this is kind of cementing the idea that that's probably where we should be, what we should be doing, especially with the fact that Flourish is now showing she's capable of grabbing some points. I'm Decathlon Gamer. Like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you next time. Have a good one. Be safe out there. Bye for now.